we are learning the sonometer experiment. In sonometer experiment, there is a long and short two types of the questions will be asked here. For this case, the long questions will asked here L8. Okay, long question 8, it is given on page number 152 in physics and book. On page number 50, 152, it is given as a board slip and that board slip given as a one sentence that you write in a A. A means to write here to verify the law of length. To verify the law of length, if the A you write here means you have to show that the NL is equal to constant. For to show that the NL is equal to constant, we have to draw the observation table. Now here I will explain that the how to remember the observation table and how to draw the observation table whichever points are needed here. Next is that the formula. Formula, basic formula for the frequency of the vibrating string is given by L is equal to 1 upon 2L into under root of T upon L. Now T is a tension which is attached to the string. M means the small m represent the mass per unit length. L is a vibrating length. This vibrating length measure the distance between the two knife edge. Next is that our aim is there to find out the NL. And this is the observation table you have to draw in exam. First is that the N. L is required and this is a variable is there. N is a frequency of the twinning forks and this type of the twinning forks are given to you. Okay, and the number which is written on it that is a frequency of twinning fork. And this frequency of twinning fork start writing here. According to your set, whichever set is given to you, then write from the highest number of the frequency and then write the remaining. You have to take the 5 readings of it. That's why 5 observations will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next is that the First value is there 512, right here 512, next is a 480, 426.6, 384 and 320, whichever is given in your uh, twinning fork set. Next is that the observation table for the length because energy required and frequency is already written here. Next is that to find out the L. How to find out the L is already you know the in procedure it is given here. Length between the uh, distance between the two knife edge when the paper rider will fall down that time note down the vibrating length. You have to check two times. You have to check the two times that why right, two readings will become here. One is the L1 and second is the L2. L1, L2. Two readings are there and then take the mean of that reading. That's why formula is given here. L is equal to L1 plus L2 upon 2. Take the mean of this reading. L is equal to L1 plus L2 upon 2. Next is that the first, second column and the next one is a fifth column. L and L multiply by here. That column will come here and L. After that, for the graph, we needed the value of the 1 upon L. That's why 1 upon L next column will be added here. That's why total column first is a serial number. Next is a frequency. After that L1, L2, mean of L. After that NL and next last column is 1 upon L. After that, once you had taken the reading of it, then write this reading here. First is a, already we know the values of the frequency and then note down the reading of L1 and L2. Here I wrote here the 512. And the number is given here, 16. Again, I check with a second time, it got the 16 and the mean will come here, 16. Next is that the 512 multiplied by 16. That is 8192 number will come here. This is calculated by the log calculation. Remember student, log calculations is important. That's why one log table calculations is given there. That observation table for the log fill there in your handbook. And then complete the calculation and after that write the answer here in observation table. 
Next is that of 480. Second number is given 480 and the observation is 17.1, 16.9. Mean is a 70. After the log calculation, it will give as a 8160. See here 426.6 number 19.2, 18.9. Add with this divided by 2, you will get here 19. And the 19 multiplied by 426.6, again log calculation will get the 8105.4. After that, fourth reading. Fourth reading 384, 20, L1 reading is 21.1, 20.9, 21, and it will become to the 8064, that is 8064. After that, 320, 320, it shows that 26.6, 25.9, and the mean will use as a 26 multiplication of the log calculation. Directly, you get the 8320. Like that, complete the observation table for NL. Now, this is to verify the law of lane, which we have to calculate the calculation from the graph or either it is calculated by the calculation method of it. Now here in A, it is not mentioned in graph word is there, then show the calculation with the mean value. Means up to this, if you see that the first observation value, it is near about the 8000, 8000 second reading, third reading, fourth and fifth. All these ranges are in a 8000. That's why we can say that the NL is constant in result write the mean value of it. Mean means addition of all this reading divided by 5. 5 observations are there. That's why it divided by 5 and then that reading goes as a NL is equal to 8168.4 and write the unit of it per centimeter. That is our NL value is calculated. And here it shows that NL is constant. It means that this N is frequency is inversely proportional to the vibrating length. And then write the one sentence for it. This is the first law of vibrating steam. In this way, complete the observation table, calculation, log calculation, write the result of it, and we can finish the writing part of this sonometer one. Okay. Now, if the question will come here to calculate the unknown frequency by the sonometer 1, then the, your aim will be changed to determine the unknown frequency by the law or to where? To, by the law of vibrating stream or by the sonometer experiment. That time, one more observation will be come here for the unknown frequency. For unknown frequency, we will write the NX. Then when the paper writer will fall down, that time note down the reading and if it is comes at the 20, write here 20, measure the mean value of it, it will become to the 20, the last column for the 1 upon LX. That 1 upon LX is equal to 1 upon 20 because 20 is there, that 20 will come here, 1 upon 20, number will be used here, 0 0.05. After that, 5 into 10 is to minus 2 centimeter inverse. Like that, we will find out the value of the 1 upon Lx that is 5 into 10 is to minus 2. Now, this calculation after the Lx, you can use the formula for it that is the unknown frequency. What is the formula for unknown frequency? That is a mean value, mean Nl upon Lx. Now, here the mean Lx. Mean value is calculated 8168.4 divided by Lx is 0 0.05. Sorry, its value is a 20 and then 20 divided by this will come to the 408.4. Okay, this, this is the way we can calculate the unknown frequency by the sonometer 1. Okay. Now, from the graph also we can calculate, okay, this is the part is there, without the graph we calculate the uh, unknown value, unknown frequency and verify the law without the graph, okay. Next is that.
set down from the graph how to calculate the value of it. That we come to see here. For the graph, we require the one upon n versus frequency graph. One upon n versus frequency graph. That's why right. last column for a one upon a, and the first column for second column for the frequency. Then take it as a frequency along the x-axis, and next is a one upon. Okay, calculate the answer from the graph that time. Taken as a frequency along the x-axis. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay, one upon n and frequency. Choose the frequency from it that is a five hundred for two two only one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter. Taken as a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. And 500 like that. Take the reading along the x-axis, or taken as a 50, 100, 2, uh, 150 like that. Taken as a 1 centimeter reading for it. 50 hertz. Okay, I will show you the along the x-axis. 50 hertz, and along the y-axis, taken as 1 centimeter is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2. Like that, select the its coordinates along the x axis and y axis. After that, selecting 1 upon L calculated with the help of the reciprocal, reciprocal which is given in a handbook, last page or second last page, either it is that, find out that and write the value of 1 upon L. After this, we will get the different point on this graph and then draw the balance line passing through the origin. First, we have got the path line which is passing through the origin. These are the points are there. Then after that, select the two different points which is not included in the reading. Select the two different points A and B which is not included in this reading. And that will come here the X1 and Y1. This is a x2 and y2 reading will be there. And then for the slope formula, find out the slope as the y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Okay. Then after that, find out the 1 upon slope value. 1 upon slope gives as the ll. Okay. In this way, we can get the from this slope. And then reciprocal of slope you will get the frequency NL value. This NL value write in a result. Because from the calculation we got the NL value 8168.4. And from the graph we will write the value of this slope and upon slope. And that two values will come here approximately equal. Now next is that how to find out the frequency unknown frequency from the graph. So come here the 1 upon L, 1 upon LX already calculated. 1 upon LX is 1 upon 20. That will come the 5 into 10 raised to minus 2. Now here find out where is the 5 into 10 raised to minus 2. Here 5 into 10 raised to minus 2. Draw the straight line where it is intercept to the or touch to the balance line. After that draw the intercept on the X axis where the frequencies are there. And when we get the intercept from the x-axis, that point is a 400. This will represent the unknown frequency. How much it is there? 400 frequency. That will come here the unknown frequency Lx is equal to 400 frequency by graph 408.4 by the calculation. In this way, we can calculate the unknown frequency by graph, unknown frequency by calculation, and then by graph of graph and NL by calculations and after the completion of it then <coughs> don't forget to write the units of it or we we'll write the unit for the frequency parts of it. This way we can complete the experiments of the solometer one long experiment total weightage is a 8 marks remember spread total weightage is 8 marks in apparatus diagram and the formula you get the one mass observation table one mass is there next is that when you are writing the result result 
write the nn is equal to along with the proper unit then you will get the one marks for it and whatever you do the correct of it that time the examiner will check that the that how you perform the experiment they will give the marks for it like that total it will get the eight marks for this experiment thank you